movement into animation and direction into action. Ram into them and, ex and explode. While currently the risk of such a dark scenario is limited, it's a wake-up call that underscores our shared responsibility to... For quite some time now, the discussion on whether or not we'll reach AGI has been making waves. In fact, experts project that we should be there by the end of the decade, going by the rate of AI development. But it seems there's actually more to this than meets the eye, and one would ask, are we actually heading there yet? Or will we have to wait a little bit longer than projected? Join me on this journey as we look at the factors that are at play in this talk of advancement towards AGI. Who knows, you might be able to draw a conclusion on the matter afterward. There's absolutely no doubt that what we have today in the world of AI is nothing short of amazing and is reaching goals that we never thought were possible. Many believe that these systems are sophisticated enough to take us all the way to AGI, which is a point that we believe machines can do whatever it is humans can with very much better efficiency. For some others, not really. They believe that there are some factors that need to be looked into first, and we'll explore those factors in this video. The first question anyone would ask is what exactly are these things we're missing in order to achieve artificial general intelligence? Well, let's understand the concept of the AGI first. AGI is thought to be the kind of intelligence that humans have, which machines are projected to acquire at some point. You can basically think of it as the ability to learn and adapt to new situations, solve complex tasks, reason and plan, and even be able to fully understand and generate language. No doubt we've made some quite significant progress in AI in recent years, but we're still reasonably a long way from AGI. The topic around reaching AGI isn't one that most people are so excited about. It comes with some baggage that many think would be very detrimental to humans. Aside from the fear of world domination by AI, there are other concerns about AI taking over jobs that were originally done by humans and all that. In fact, it's projected that humans might cease to exist at some point as machines will have no use for us. This is the point where we start to talk about the singularity. The only shot that humans might have at having any relevance at this point might be getting modifications which will allow them to perform at the same rate as these machines, or just close. We're talking about real life cyborgs. Anyway, many believe there are a few things that we need to develop in order to achieve AGI. First, the present performance of AI with regards to training and learning isn't exactly that efficient to give the required result. We would need to develop some better ways for AI systems to learn and adapt. And this will involve getting to a level that AI is able to learn and grow without human interference. This is a long way from the learning methods we have presently. Training methods like self-supervised learning, supervised learning, and reinforcement learning are some of the most common methods used by these developers in training present-day LLMs. What these have in common is that they require some level of human involvement to run. But if we're to move towards AGI, then we need systems that can be able to train themselves. Also, the current AI systems might be very good at learning specific tasks, but they're not very good at generalizing to new tasks. In fact, we see the current trend among companies trying to develop different versions of the general purpose LLM's specific use tasks. For AGI to be feasible, we need to develop AI systems that can learn from their experiences and apply what they've learned to new, unseen situations. There are presently talks about how different AIs respond to zero-shot tests, which are basically tasks that is never seen, but there's still a huge room for improvement. Meanwhile, reasoning is one of the main defining factors that promotes human intelligence, and AI still struggles in that aspect. For AGI to be realizable, machines need to be able to make decisions that are very crucial in split seconds to save situations. This will also help in problem-solving skills that will help in decision-making. We need to develop better ways for AI systems to reason and plan. And you might say that we already have this in current AI systems, and you won't be totally wrong. Current AI systems can reason about simple situations, but things get a little slow when you take it up a notch. They tend to struggle with more complex situations, and to be sincere, real-life situations are not just black and white. We do often get some gray areas that define outcomes. 
Therefore, there's a need to develop AI systems that can reason about complex situations and make plans for the future. Making use of world models can be an option in helping AI reach this desired level. A world model in AI is an abstract representation of the world that an AI agent can use to reason about its environment and make decisions. It's basically a learned model of the world's dynamics and complexities, including how the world changes in response to the agent's actions. World models can be used for a variety of tasks, such as planning, decision-making, and control. World models are inspired by the way that humans learn about the world, which is something expected of machines when they eventually reach AGI. We build world models in our brains by observing the world around us and interacting with it. As we learn, we update our world models to reflect our new knowledge. This allows us to make predictions about how the world will change in response to our actions and to plan accordingly for even external changes. World models for AI agents can be constructed in a variety of ways. One common approach is to use deep learning to train a model to predict how the world will change in response to different actions. Another approach is to use a physics simulator to create a model of the world's dynamics. Some might also question how encompassing these training models are. As you know, situations can go very much beyond a couple of possible outcomes to include a wide range of others. However, world models are a promising new approach to AI because they have the potential to enable AI agents to learn and behave in a more human-like way. By using world models, AI agents can learn to plan and make decisions without having to interact with the real world every time and even require further training. This can make them more efficient and robust, and it can also allow them to learn in environments that are dangerous or expensive to interact with in the real world. Next, we need to develop better ways for AI systems to understand and generate language. And language goes well beyond spoken words to include gestures and even sign language. Current AI systems can understand and generate simple language, like regular day-to-day -day spoken words at least. However, there are some languages that are yet to be covered by these systems. They still very much struggle with more complex language like gestures and signs. We need to develop AI systems that can understand and generate complex language, including other means of communications than humans use. It makes it a whole lot easier to have them integrated into human societies. There are a number of challenges that we need to overcome in order to develop these capabilities. One challenge is that we don't fully understand how the human brain works. We might know that the human brain is very good at learning, reasoning, and understanding language, but we don't fully understand how it does these things. This makes it difficult to develop AI systems that can replicate these capabilities. Another challenge is that developing AGI is a very complex task. There are many different components that need to be developed and integrated together. And also, making sure that human biases aren't fed into the system is another challenge. This is a major challenge, but it's believed that developers are working to remedy the situation. So in essence, what's missing in order to achieve AGI? We need to develop better ways for AI systems to learn and adapt, to reason and plan, and to understand and generate language. These are challenging tasks, but they're tasks that are most likely to be fixed in no time considering the speed of AI advancement. Possibly, we will eventually achieve AGI, but it's going to take time and effort. It'll be quite exciting to see what the future holds for AI, and the possibilities are just endless. In addition to the challenges mentioned already, there are a few other things that we need to consider if we're ever going to achieve AGI and possibly go beyond. One is the ethical implications of AGI. If, per adventure, we develop AI systems that are as intelligent or more intelligent than humans, then we need to make sure that we use them responsibly. We need to develop ethical guidelines for the development and use of AGI. Already, experts are expressing fears over the implication might be if they're wrongly used. Another thing to consider is the impact of AGI on society. AGI could have a profound impact on the way we live and work. It's important to think about how we can use AGI for the benefit of society and to avoid any potential negative impacts. Overall, the development of AGI is a complex and challenging task, but it's a task that's worth pursuing. AGI has the potential to revolutionize many aspects of our lives, and it's important to think carefully about the ethical and social implications of AGI development. Thanks for watching to this point. If you enjoyed the video, we do have more coming your way on this channel about AI and other interesting topics. See you in the next one.